Hey, look, enemy sighted. Get that guy. <laughs> He's wanted for crimes against humanity. You can go Hey there everyone, Ervin here to bring you the latest and greatest news on the all-new Quasar Cannon added in the most recent patch. I'm going to be going over everything the weapon is capable of, details on its functionality, as well as my opinions on how this new support stratagem is best utilized. As a disclaimer, all of my videos and all of my testing is carried out on the game's highest difficulty of Helldive to give you the most accurate information possible on how well this gear holds up against the game's most challenging mode. So let's get into it. First of all, the Quasar Cannon has infinite ammo and a heat sink like the other laser weapons. However, uniquely, this weapon locks itself from overheating to the point of needing a sink changeout. Instead, enforcing a cooldown period between shots of roughly 5 seconds, which can be affected by both the hot and cold planets. I will say, however, that even on a hot planet, the cooldown felt completely fine. If anything, it felt more balanced. While cold planet testing was unavailable as we've been very effective in our liberation lately. Good work out there, divers. This weapon is essentially an EAT without the E part, as its damage and effectiveness is very similar in nature besides the short wind-up period before the shot is fired, with the addition of infinite ammo, meaning this weapon can also be freely utilized against any enemy moderately inconveniencing you, as well as regularly used to close both bug nests and fabricators through the vent. Notably, vent shots with this weapon are also, in my opinion, much more forgiving in angle than, say, the autocannon. Worth keeping in mind as its ease of use against fabricators has me questioning the spear's usage once again. The Quasar's reticle is also slightly inaccurate as there is some immediate fall off on the shot, so aim a little bit high. Now that we're done discussing the technical aspects of the weapon, what targets is it effective against? Well, all of them. Every hard armored enemy Helldivers 2 can throw at you, this weapon is capable of putting down. To go into the specifics of how many shots you can expect this to happen in, let's go through the common anti-tank targets one by one. The Bio-Titan is easily bullied by a few Quasar Cannons, as it takes anywhere between 2-4 to four shots on average to bring them down, aiming for around the head region. There's also rumors of being able to get one-shot kills, of course, to the mouth, but I was unable to confirm these during testing. The Charger is effortlessly eliminated with one shot to the head, easily timed after dodging them, as by the time they turn around, it is good night. It will also strip the armor in a single shot to the leg, and kill through the leg in a second shot. As you would expect, the Quasar dispatches each stock of the Shrieker layer in just two shots, and instantly destroys the Spore Towers in just one shot, conveniently from any range, and again, infinite ammo. No reason to not use it for this. Between its effectiveness against both the Bug Heavies and its convenience when destroying both Nests and Shrieker layers, this leaves the squad packing Quasars to be extremely formidable against the Bugs, as bringing a primary that handles everything medium or smaller will leave your squad feeling completely unthreatened even on difficulty 9 by the Bugs. On our first drop with the Quasar, in fact, my team and I felt so strong that we forgot that we even had other stratagems and just didn't use them. So, there was that. Now as far as the bots are concerned, you will see the Quasar feeling competitive with your other options, but not blatantly overpowered. It is capable of destroying hulks from the front in just two shots, or one difficult shot to the head. The charge up, however, generally against automatons leaves much more room to be punished for utilizing it. So try to charge the majority of your shots from behind cover before peeking. You're also able to kill cannon turrets and tanks in just two shots to the front. Or, funny enough, just one shot to the heat sink coupled with a singular plas one shot sends them on their way. Something we found very enjoyable was the Quasar's infinite ammo giving us the ability to very carelessly take down enemy dropships in one shot as they come in to their thrusters. Unfortunately, Arrowhead messed up the corpses on heavy enemies at some point, causing them to no longer very often crush the enemies drop between them. It does, however, make you feel cool, and with the infinite ammo, again... Why not, right? The Quasar is also able to one-shot Devastators to the torso, as you would expect, although it will not pen and eliminate heavy Devastators through their shield. The number of these enemies you run into will leave you also wanting to instead utilize a strong primary for the task of Devastator elimination instead, as the wind-up to kill just one feels a bit dramatic. As I mentioned earlier, the Quasar very easily lands shots into the vent, causing fabricators to explode with relatively low effort, requiring no strange ricochets, instead being very straightforward as any shot that lands inside the vent seems to cause a detonation. As my closing statement for the bot side of this breakdown, I'll say the Quasar sits in a competitive spot with other support and AT options you would typically bring in, such as the Spear for Fabricators, the Autocannon for Hybrid Fabricator in combat, and the Railgun you would potentially bring solely for combat. It requires no backpack slot as well, 
So this is also a huge pro it has as well considering your other options. All in all, a very solid support weapon option for bots, and an absolutely devastating option to bring along for bugs, the likes of which we haven't seen since the pre-nerf railgun. That's going to do it for my quick breakdown of all you need to know about the Quasar Cannon, and I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching till the end, and have a wonderful day. See ya! And now, another helpful tip from General Brash. Aravin has gone above and beyond to contribute so much information in so little time with his field testing. For this, I am ordering all active hell divers to like, comment, and subscribe to his channel. Failure to do so will result in the Quasar Cannon being nerfed immediately. Brass tactics! Use them or die trying! <laughs>